singles, so people who are not in romantic relationships um, and who are unpartnered are an increasingly growing demographic. Uh, and there's more and more singles around the world and people choosing to decide not to get married or not uh, to enter relationships. Uh, so we like to understand this growing demographic and also understand uh, who would be a happy single. We found that on average, singles tended to be lower in extroversion. And extroversion is a personality trait that characterizes uh, more sociability, as well as a lot of positive emotion and a sort of assertiveness. Um, so these are the types of people that you'd imagine, of course, being at parties and, and going out a lot. So um, extroverts sort of have that more high energy. So we found that people who were single were lower in this trait, while people who were partnered were higher on this trait. Because our data were cross-sectional and correlational, it's hard for us to sort of draw directions in terms of whether it's the case that uh, personality predicts who becomes single or partnered, or whether it's being single or being partnered can sort of shape your personality. Um, we think that it could go one of both ways. Uh, but we think that based off of existing uh, literature, it's most likely the case that uh, more extra extroverted people tend to get into relationships. Um, and so you can imagine that people who are more extroverted would tend to be in social situations like parties or clubs more. And so those types of people would be more likely to run into romantic potentials. Uh, so we think that maybe the direction is going in that way of personality traits predicting relationship status such that more extroverted people tend to get into relationships. In a lot of popular media, such as in movies or shows like Sex in the City or Trainwreck, um, or even the phrase, you know, single and ready to mingle. Um, they often portray singles as these sort of loud, outgoing people who tend to go on hookups um, or go to parties a lot. Um, but what we're finding here is that singles tend to be more introverted, right? So if that's the case, that singles tend to be more introverted on average, um, then those stereotypes may potentially be inaccurate. Um, we also want to sort of, you know, one of our big goals in our research is to understand who would be a happy single or partnered person. Um, so uh, in the singlehood literature, there is this notion of singleism, which is the idea that singles um, experience stigma and discrimination. Um, and so there are some individuals who choose to be lifelong singles, but, um, you know, as we know, a lot of people tend to be pushed into romantic relationships, even if they don't necessarily want a romantic relationships. And sometimes this pressure can even come from our parents, we're often who want us to get into relationships and want us to get married. Um, and so understanding the sort of personality profile of singles and partnered people could allow us to understand who would actually be a happy single or partnered person. Not everyone wants to be in a relationship, but not everyone who's introverted should be extroverted, and I think that everyone should sort of just be able to make the choice that they want to make just based off of who they are. Um, so I think that's sort of some of the main takeaways from our study is that it's okay to be single, um, and that maybe singles are not as extroverted as we thought they were.